Thank you, Dipendra, and welcome. Sorry, we have having some uh, problem with my iPad, so I'm using my computer today, so I can't write much, but we'll try to be as interactive as possible. So <clears throat> who are the people who want to interact? Uh, you can put your name on the uh, chat box or just raise your hand so that uh, Depend knows, and then we can uh, <clears throat> talk. So any first volunteer? So Dr. Neha, uh, Dr. Neha and Dr. Rakesh Jugarias. Okay, so Dr. Rakesh, you want to come and Dr. Neha, you want to unmute yourself, both of you? Yes, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. So uh, Neha, I met you. Rakesh, where, yeah, have I met you before? Yes, sir, yes. we have met him. Okay, okay. So just remind me, Rakesh, where are you working? Sir, I am uh, Andhra Pradesh uh, Government Hospital, uh, West Bodhar District, Hilur. Okay, so <clears throat> uh, do you see Parthi's cases there or uh, have you presented Parthi's cases? No, sir. Till now, we didn't see. The, didn't see. Okay, that's fine. So we, we're going to discuss today Parthi's. I'm not going to do the detailed uh, theory part of it. I want to discuss what is important from exam point of view, how to talk about the management of it, okay? Okay, sir. Okay, so when it comes to Parthis, what is your understanding of Parthis disease? It's a self-limiting disease uh, around uh, four to eight years of uh, children. That is avascular necrosis of femoral head. That is the self we have to do as a treatment, early investigation and as a treatment point, of you, we have to contain no, so just, the femoral. Just, yeah. uh, don't don't go so much detail into it. So, what okay. Parthis is a avascular necrosis and self-limiting. Okay. You said and happen into four to eight year group. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's a good good definition. So, avascular necrosis uh, uh, in four to eight group following a fracture neck of femur is that will be called Parthis. Mm -hmm. No. Sir, so you I, have to add one yes, one more one more word to it. It's called idiopathic. Yes. Okay. So just yes. avascular necrosis. There can be many causes of avascular. Do you know some causes of avascular necrosis? Sir, mostly it is a idiopathic one. Yeah, idiopathic and, is one uh, which <coughs> in the in when, the children. Uh, is a, uh, hereditary like uh, some uh, collagen defect, sir. Okay. And, uh, so some causes, some common causes, when do you get avian in which pediatric? So some pediatric condition like following a hip fractures, yeah? Yes, sir. Chromatic. Sometimes following a septic arthritis, sometimes following yes, a DDH. If you DDH, you uh, put in unsafe zone, that can cause parthes, yeah? Yes, sir. Uh, not parthes, avascular necrosis, yeah? Yes. Similarly, uh, uh, slip uh, capital femoral yes. epiphysis. Yes. Yeah. Yes, sir. Unstable variety. That, but those are not parties. We yes, don't sir. call them parties. So, how will you, Neha? How will you define parties? Uh, it is idiopathic, uh, self-limited. Uh, 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 like uh, movement of the uh, abduction movement will be uh, restricted, sir. No, we are just, just on definition at the moment, not definition, the clinical part. Definition, uh, it is you said, yeah, self limiting, yeah. avascular necrosis of uh, proximal uh, femoral, yeah, head. femoral epiphysis, yeah, femoral epiphysis. Yeah, that's how you define it. So there are a few things we already said, you, you all said, and it is in the child in the children. Okay. Yes. So let us yes. let us see how the parties uh, differ. Uh, anybody else want to participate? Just put in a chat box, and then uh, Dependri, you can tell me the name, and we can say so. Yeah. Sure, sir. Okay. So student, if you want to participate, you can put the name in the chat box. Yeah, so what happened in Perth is uh, we need to find out what is the difference between a uh, Perth is and a avascular necrosis, let's say in adults. So why does Perth is a different disease? 
uh, uh, compared to adult avascular necrosis. AVN in the adult also a very important topics for you. So what happened in AVN in adults is that you get an AVN like this one, and this AVN uh, also because of the blood supply decrease, it could be alcohol, it could be steroids, it could be any other cause. But what happened is that this leads to collapse and then it leads to osteoarthritis. Whereas uh, in Perthes disease, it is, as you all said, quite often there is a significant potential for it to heal itself. We won't say it is always self-healing, but most of them can heal themselves, self-healing uh, conditions. So it goes, a, it goes through the phases of avascular necrosis, then fragmentation, then healing, and then remodeling. So there are four phases it goes through. And if the environment is good, it will completely recover itself. Whereas in, in, in avian, in adult, normally what happens is that if once the uh, a seg segment of the head become avascular necrosis, it is very rarely that it will remodel it to normal. And hence the treatment is, it's completely different than when the treatment is adult avascular necrosis. In adult, what you do is you try to increase and circulation to that area by doing a decoding or by putting some graft in it. Uh, and once it is collapsed, you, it won't recover itself. Once the head is flattened, it will lead to osteoarthritis and you will have very little uh, treatment options, but to do a, eventually do a hip replacement. So treatment normally in an adult depend on thicket classification, we say uh, decoding uh, de in the early stage one and two A, and once it is collapsed, then sometime uh, you can rotate a small bit by osteotomy, but most often it lead to osteoarthritis, and, uh, and then uh, you need to treat the arthritis. Whereas in, in Perthes disease, normally there's a cycle through which it goes. So initially you will have a complete uh, let's say this blood supply is obstructed here and this blood supply make it uh, sclerotic uh, and collapsed and then it leads to fragmentation and then it's to revascularization and then it leads to remodeling and eventually the and the round hip is recreated yeah so uh, parthes is a is a disease of idiopathic avascular necrosis in children where it goes through a cycle of uh, avascular necrosis, fragmentation, reossification, and uh, remodeling. Will you remember this thing? Yes, sir. Yeah? Yeah? So uh, do you want to repeat if somebody asks you now, uh, what is Parthes? Yes, sir. Parthes disease is the idiopathic condition in the child age around four to seven years age. It is the staging, uh, stage-wise procedure to avascular necrosis of the hip that is self limiting That is the first stage is the avascular necrosis of femoral head. Then it is a fragmentation stage. Then it is a revascularization stage and uh, then remodeling. Remodeling. And these take a long time. So it is, uh, yes. most of them can heal themselves. Uh, in fact, 50, 60% of them heal without doing any treatment. Uh, but they it takes a long time. So the first phase of where the head becomes sclerostic and then collapse, then become smaller, uh, that is last about six months or so. That is an early stage of sclerosis, or we call initial stage, or we call stage of avascular necrosis. Then there is a second stage where the head become into many pieces, we call it fragmentation stage. And the third stage where the new bone is then formed by creeping substitution, we call it a reossification stage and then remodeling till the skeletal maturity. So it passes through that phase, but it takes quite a long time, three to four years normally for a parties for whole cycle to complete, yeah? So that's, yes, the, dif that's the difference between a adult avascular necrosis and, and the uh, uh, idiopathic avascular necrosis, which is Parthes disease. And if you want to then see what happened histopathologically, first thing you, we said will happen is that the blood supply will cut off. Yeah, so what will happen first thing is this blood supply is gone 
And if that blood supply is gone, this one segment of it, normally the central bit of the head become um, um, avascular necrosis. Can you can you see see my pen? Yeah, there. Yes, sir. This become avascular necrosis, and then in this uh, segment of avascular necrosis, uh, blood vessel grows to bring the osteoclast, and they will absorb it. So this become a dead bone, but this is more like a uh, like a bone graft. And then uh, the 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 new vessels will bring osteoclasts that will eat it and replace it. And once it eat it, create kind of a chan channels in it from uh, upward like a vertical channel, and that divide into many fragment, and that's called fragmentation stage. And eventually, once the dead bone is uh, replaced by creeping substitution by a new bone that is called reossification. And then it remodeled to a normal shape. So that's a normal sequence of even in, in Parthi's disease. Okay. So uh, we will come in a minute, but just remember at this point that the treatment of Parthi's depend on age of onset. So first thing you need to remember is not age when you're seeing a patient, you need to take a good history. When did the first symptom started? That means age of onset. Then is stage of progression. And we will uh, keep repeating this. Uh, the four stages which I've just told you. What are the four stages, uh, Neha? 